two. It's not big, but counts. Don't no put on the pack. Okay guys, so um, walking in my clover plot, actually it's almost, it's gonna be clover. Uh, I'm about to plant it. So this is the tree that I hinge cut in the last uh, timber episode of Building Whitetails that the deer were eating on so heavily. We had nasty weather, bunch of snow. Today, it's early, it's early March, 65 degrees. Um, the reason I'm planting this clover plot is it's, it's, a, it's a spot I plan to intercept deer in. So my destination plot is back behind me, off to the right here, okay? So the main bedding area is back off to the left, back over here behind these trees. Uh, so the deer are going from point A to point B, um, and they're getting to the destination food just a little after dark or right at dark, not presenting a, sh a good shot opportunity. Um, and so my, job, my goal here is intercept them with the clover. I've got really good access. Um, the, the, the reason I'm planting this here in the spring, or I'm planting this is clover is one of the first things in the spring to green up. Um, it's, it, it provides a lot of nutrients to deer, especially does that are, are, you know, growing the fawns right now. Bucks that have shed their antlers are getting ready to grow their new set. Um, so I'm going to put this clover plot in right here behind me. Uh, the, it, the deer like to travel this low spot where the switchgrass is behind me as well. Um, so we're really just connecting the dots where the deer already like to do this and follow this travel route. So we're really gonna just help them do it better. Okay, so we're about to start burning, but until then, we are going to finish planting some switchgrass. Um, it's, it, it's, it's just great stuff. It adds so much quick cover, um, the height, thermal cover, it's just so useful to so many different, I mean, animal species. I mean, I'm focusing on deer, but the quail use it, the turkeys use it. Um, it's just really, really good stuff. So, we're gonna plant it. I'm planting it at five pounds the acre. Um, it, my favorite is into standing soybeans or soybean stubble, something that's been farmed agriculturally for the past year. Really helps knock down the weed competition for this coming year. Um, the establishment of the stand is, is if you get a good start, it's, it's, that's so key in all food plots. Doesn't matter what you're planting. Boy, that thing's sharp instructions so so this is switchgrass on my right and we're going to be burning it here in just a little bit um, one of the key things the one of the most beneficial aspects to burning your native grasses is to one take down your your overgrowth um, after a couple years you know two years you're going to get a lot of built up dead material you're going to clear that off for the new growth and also and probably one of the best things uh, behind it is you're going to knock out the weed competition you're going to really smack your winter annuals uh, any brush um, small uh, trees that you really don't want growing um, it's going to wipe those out and uh, it's also a great opportunity to look for shed antlers. So looking, looking for shed antlers and this stuff is just almost impossible to do. So it's, you know, goes down to the ground, they really pop up, and that's, uh, that's, that's always a highlight to the year. Back up. 
Okay, so we got to drive back here. So it, yeah, because we get better phone service on this side of the field. By law, you got to call the sheriff's department and ask them if you can burn. So, God, he's stupid. Okay. Works every time. Uh, yeah, is it okay to do some burning this evening? I guess it is. Where are you burning? Okay, and this is Josh Prepper? Yes, ma'am. And what are you burning? Uh, just some buffer strips. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Mr. Prepper. Ah, uh -huh, thank you. Bye bye. Where to go? Let's burn something. Okay, so this is a redneck fire stick. You cannot buy this at your local tractor supply. Not hating on tractor supply. It's a good store. I support them. Okay. This is OSHA approved. Last time I checked. <laughs> I didn't check. One of the vital tools to burning. Also have water available. my chainsaw helmet. So we've got a, uh, the wind's blowing this direction. I'm gonna light on the back side of this buffer strip here uh, and keep the fire from going off to the north. I do not want to go over there because I've got a bunch of sandhill plums planted and it will burn those out. Make sure that you've got a really good fire break, uh, a good fire fighting system, um, just be really, really careful and conscious about it. Uh, things can get away in a hurry. Just be very careful. Don't get in a rush. Go slow. Um, yeah, let's light up. Yes! Oh man, this gear's gonna be awesome next year. Sweet.